What's going on, guys? Country boys and catfish here. I'm out here floating around on a lake on this nice Sunday. Beautiful weather. Just a little hoodie, not the chill off this morning, but it's beautiful weather out here. Uh, <clears throat> we're on Lake Wiley today. Uh, I want to do a product review. Uh, it's the, uh, the trolling motor that I gave 50 bucks for uh, in my previous video. You've seen it, I'm sure. Uh, but there it is. It's a water snake, uh, 54 pound thrust, 48 inch shaft. Uh, it does have the pedal. I haven't ordered the uh, remote for it yet with the spot lock and all that mess. I don't know if I will because I was going to originally. Uh, but. I will eventually, but that's another another day. But I just want to do a review on it. Uh, it's working out really good. You see it up there just clucking along. One thing, if you'll notice, see how it's shaking just a little bit. Uh, the propeller was a little bent. I tried to heat it up with the heat gun and bend it back, and I did, and it's, but it's still off a little bit. But I'm going to order me another one. But uh, to sit back here, and let that thing right there just drag me across the lake. I'm not fighting it. We got pops over there in the putter. Ten can fishing. I don't know where the hell he went. He's down the lake somewhere. But we all over here on this nice Sunday day here. But uh, trying to catch fish. He's he old pops done put one in the boat about 40 pounds. And I'm fishing right beside him and can't get a bite. But that's the way it goes. That old school wear your ass out every time. But uh, back to the trolling motor. It seems like it's going to be nice. I mean, it has cut my my drifting to a minimum of what I have to do. I just sit here and just, you know, just whichever way I want to go. And, you know, like I said, it's got the, you can, you can put it on where you can use that. Or you can set it on cruise control. And there's your speed adjustment. It's got several different. There's your left and your right. Uh, man, it's just, it's. It's a really good giddy up. I like it. I am going to order the remote and uh, connect it to my depth finder. That way I have spot lock and I can control it with the remote versus the the foot pedal. But uh, I tried it out last Sunday and uh, it worked really good. Me and Tin Can Fit, Phil over at Tin Can Fish and we. We come down here last Sunday, uh, down here on Wiley, and uh, we didn't do too much good. That's where the catfishing ain't glory days come from. But anyway, I'm rambling. But uh, the trolling motor, it's it'll pull the slowest I've got it uh, on flat uh, flat water is 0.2 miles per hour. And the fastest I've had it is 7.6 miles per hour. Now, I have a 19-foot center console fiberglass boat. It's older. So, it's pretty heavy. So, I mean, you could probably get more speed out of it. If it's on a smaller boat. But I don't need no more than that. I mean, I've got to I've gotta build all the shit. 70 sitting on the back of it. That'll run me about 60 miles an hour. So, I mean, I don't, I don't need no more. But... The troll motor's doing really good. I just want to give y'all a update on it, and uh, we're going to see if we can't set one in the boat. I'm out here fishing alone today. This is my first solo trip on the boat, and I don't know if I would be able to do it uh, as far as drifting by myself because I've got the issue, the back issues, but I don't know if I could do it by myself with the back issues I have without that troll motor right there. So, uh I just want to give Justin Johnson over at Kayak Catfish a big shout out. He he's been rubbing it in that that nice trolling motor that he's got on his and how much it has helped him. And I'm telling you, I'm glad I made this purchase. So, guys, if you don't have one, 
get you one and I promise you'll enjoy it. We'll holler at y'all later.